Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm looking at a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called Food Time Battle in Space. This is a new one by Crab Studios. It is a two to four player game that takes roughly 20 to 40 minutes to play. It is a competitive game where each player is going to be competing against the other players to be the first to gain five stars and be the overall winner of the game. In the game itself, each player is going to take on the role of a restaurant owner in space, trying to meet the needs of the critics. And they're going to do this by playing ingredient cards from their hand in a certain sequence. And based on the critic they're trying to complete, each critic will have requirements, and if they're able to meet those requirements, then they have satisfied that critic and may get a star or stars for that achievement. And then if they meet other requirements, they might gain that critic, which will also have a special ability at the bottom the player will be able to use during their turn at different points throughout the rest of the game that will give them advantages. So in this video, I'm going to show you the main features of the game. I'll show you a sample turn to help you decide whether or not this is one you want to back on Kickstarter. As always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. If you want to stay updated on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new stuff. So let's head to the table and we'll see what this one's all about. The first thing I want to look at is the restaurant decks, and each player is going to choose one of these at the beginning of the game. And each deck is going to have its own chef, a custom set of 12 ingredient cards, which are broken down into two different types. You'll have the gray bordered ingredients, which are regular, and the yellow bordered ingredients, which are luxury ingredients, which are going to be very important when trying to complete the critics. Each player is also going to have a custom deck of critic cards, which are broken down into the three different levels, level one, two, and three. Each one of these cards is going to have two requirements on it, the number of ingredients that must be played in order to complete that critic's requirements, and a number of luxury items that must be included in that set in order to gain that critic. Some of the critics will provide a star, half star, or even two stars for the player, and then if the player is able to meet the two requirements of that critic, they'll gain them, and then each critic is going to have an ability at the bottom that the player will be able to use during their turns for the rest of the game, as long as that critic is fresh. And I'll go into more detail about that later. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at a sample player turn. So at the beginning of the game, each player is gonna shuffle up their three different critic decks and then reveal the top card of each one of those. During the player's turn, they're gonna select one of those critics that they wanna to try to complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this level one critic, which needs four ingredients in my cooking station and at least one luxury item to gain that critic and be able to use its ability and this one's going to be worth a half a star. So from there, then it'll move into my turn where I will draw up to my hand size, which each player is gonna start the game with a hand size of three. So we'll add, we'll draw three cards, and I'm gonna go ahead and look at these. From there, then I'm going to play cards face up in a row, going from lowest to highest. And with this critic, it needs four, so I'm gonna to have to play all three of these. So I'm gonna play a three, the five and the eight. Now that I've played all the cards in my hand, I can redraw back up to my starting hand size of three cards again, or I have other options. If I had any other critics, I could use abilities on them, or I can also use my chef, which he allows me to do one of three different things during my turn. I can draw an additional card into my hand, I can refresh a critic ability that I've used, or I can start working overtime and try to go after another critic after I've either completed a critic or I've failed to complete one. So at this point, I'm not gonna use his ability yet. I'm simply just going to go ahead and redraw my starting hand size, so I get three more cards. And with these, now I will play one. Now I have to play, I can only play one that is higher than the highest card that I've already played. So I could not play that six. I must play the nine or 10. So, and this critic requires a luxury item. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that nine and that will complete that critic. At this point, I would gain a half a star, so I only have four and a half stars to go before I win, and then I'll also gain the critic because I was able to meet both of those requirements. If you're not able to meet a requirement, so let's go ahead and say that I would have played the 10 instead, then that critic would still get me the star, but then he's going to be placed face down at the bottom of that stack, and I would reveal a new critic. So at this point, since I did gain that critic, he would go off to the side and I can start using his ability. Now, unfortunately with the critics, they do not refresh on their own. You must use your chef's ability to refresh a critic after you've used them. From there, then again, my turn would either be over or I can use one of my chef's abilities to go on. So I could use start working overtime, which would let me draw or choose another critic to try to go after. If I choose that, then these cards will stay out 
and I must use the cards in my hands and then be able to draw additional cards to go after another critic. The final thing I want to show you is a quick sample round. Now one other thing I want to point out is that all the materials you see are prototype materials that are subject to the change and will look a lot better in the final production copy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move into the game and we'll go ahead and have our player over here start us off. So that player is going to, again, choose a different critic that they want to go after. That player's feeling pretty lucky, so they're going to go after this middle critic here, or level two critic. That player will go ahead and draw their starting hand of three cards. And they got pretty lucky with a five, seven, and eight. So they're going to go ahead and play those, and then they're going to draw their new hands, nine, one, and 12. So they have to play one of those in that sequence, so they're going to go ahead and play... Well, they have to play two, actually, so they're going to play a 9 and a 12, and that will meet the requirements of the critic, both the number of cards and the luxury items that that critic needs. So that player will gain a half a star, and then they can use that critic's ability at some point during the rest of the game. So it says, if attempting a level 2 critic order, use this card to draw two ingredient cards. All right, so then we'll place that off to the side. We reveal a new critic. And then that player can continue if they still haven't used their chef, which they haven't. So that player is going to go ahead and push. So they're going to go after this critic here. And we'll draw two more cards into our hand. Well, we have to play one to start that critic. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then draw new cards. So then we're going to go with the 2 and the 11. So that player got really lucky. They were able to complete two critics. So those... And they met the requirements of them, so they gained both of those. At this point, that player cannot continue on with their turn, so then all the cards in their hands and any cards they use are going to go to their discard or to their deck, and this will be reshuffled up for the next round. From there, then it's going to move over to our other player over here to take his turn. So he is going to go ahead and select this critic here to go after, and he'll draw. So we have a 7, a 1, and a 3. So we'll go ahead and play them in this order. So we're almost there, and then we'll draw a new hand. And we can play the 8, so we'll go ahead and do that. And that completes that critic. And we met all the requirements, so we get a half a star for that one. And then I think that player will push as well, so we'll try to go after this one here. And we'll play these two cards, and then we just need one more. All right, and we got it. So we did well on that as, as well. So we're going to have those two critics moving into our next turn. So again, these will be discarded in our hands. And from there, it'll go back to the, the other player to go. And this is going to go back and forth between the players until one of the players is able to have five stars. At that point, that player will be the winner of the game. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creators would love to hear from you and are more than happy to answer any questions you have. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I love hearing from you. Until next time, I'll see you later.